Before we move on, I just want to make sure that you are continually saving your work. And I know I say that a lot in all my projects, especially if you're seeing me in a lot of the video tutorials. Well, you're not really seeing me, you're more hearing me, but you can see I've already saved my work here. Um, so just periodically every once in a while, go to file and save just to make sure that you're saving what you're doing. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to add pictures to my lovely flyer that's coming along here. And I want to add like big Sally pictures. So I'm going to go to insert and you can add pictures one of two ways. You can go to clip art and you can go to the gallery um, and my gallery kind of is a bit lacking as you can see uh, let's see if it has any food and oh no I even have food and dining already selected so that's awesome uh, or you can go to the clip art browser and you can go to food and dining. Now your clip art might be a bit better than mine. Mine has a lot of like realistic looking stuff and that's not what I grew up with as far as clip art is concerned. So because I'm not exactly thrilled, oops, what happened here? Because I'm not exactly thrilled with the picture options, I'm gonna go online and I'm gonna look for clip art. So go to your preferred browser, whatever that might be. I Googled cupcake clip art and what you want to avoid are pictures like this. This has been copywritten. So if you see something with stuff like this, don't use that. It's going to look terrible on your flyers. Try to use a clip art that somebody, ooh, this looks yummy. Except they, see, look at that little copyright symbol. It's a great vector though. People are awesome. It would be even awesomer if they let me use their stuff. <laughs> this one seems pretty good. All right, so I found one that I like. Oh, lost it. Lost it. There it is. Um, I found one that I like. I'm going to view the image. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I don't want to take the thumbnail. You don't want to use stuff that's been copywritten. Um, I know that half of the stuff you'll make flyers for are typically things you are not making money off of as far as, um, you know, you're not going to make a flyer for your business with clip art um, because it's just not good juju. You just want to make sure you're doing it legit. Uh, and, and if you're taking my class, most likely you're going to learn how to use vector art anyway, and you're going to make your own awesome stuff. So I'm going to use this for now. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to save this image onto my desktop. Now I can insert my picture. So I can go to insert photo picture from file, pick my little cuppy cake. Ta-da. And now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to click on this because every time it seems that I click on this canvas, this little thing pops up, see? My little outline. So I'm gonna right click on my outline and format the shape. And I'm gonna say I want it behind text. Oh, see, and look it, it did not like that. I'm gonna move it back. There. And now I'm gonna click on my cupcake, right click and format it. And I want it in front of text. See, misbehaving, whoops. misbehaving. Now we can move you around. Haha. -ha. Okay, so now I can rotate my cupcake if I'd like to. I can resize it. And I may, because of the colors of this cupcake, depending on what other pictures I choose, I may go back and change these colors to kind of match what's going on here. Because none of it matches right now and it's going to drive me nuts. So I'm going to go pick another picture. So Pause it here, go get yourself another picture, cupcake, brownie, cookie, whatever it is you want, and you're going to do the same thing and add it in.